Hey all, my name is Kurt. This is Trent. Welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Wars. It's been a minute. Yeah, it sure has. Uh, this is something that we do where the girls pick what whiskey that we have in the glass, Trent, and we have to blind taste these to see what we like, what we don't like, what our favorites are. The problem is, though, is that we have absolutely no idea what's in the glass. Right. It's tough. This is the first time, I don't know if you know this or not, but it's been a while since we've done the last show of Whiskey Wars. This is the first time you've been behind the bar for this show. We didn't do for that. The Whiskey Wars. That's not how we did it before? No, nah, man. I passed you the glass. That's weird. Yeah. So you get to you get to oh boy. experience this behind the bar. All a lot right. of pressure. A lot of pressure. It's not a lot of pressure. <laughs> yes, it is. I'm going to nail each and every one of these glasses. The you proof. Might. Cotton candy. Nerds. Twizzlers. Skittles. Yeah. You got it. You got it. It's all good. Before we get started, though, let me just take a quick sec second to thank each and every one of you. As you know, Trent, we clipped over 56,000 subscribers just a few days ago. That's right, we did. That's incredible. Thank you so much to all of the new subscribers. Thank you for joining us. For all the ones that's been with us through the last few years and almost and from probably even day one, thank you. Thank you so much. Boy, I tell you what, it means a lot to us. It's just been an incredible ride, and hopefully it gets better from yeah. here. So if you're just watching for the first time, come join us. We just have a lot of fun, right? That's what we do. Sometimes. Hit that, <laughs> most of the time. Hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. All right, buddy. The only thing that I know is your mom told me that these are barrel strength, cask strength bourbons. Okay. Not rye whiskey. Not bourbon. Not, it's bourbon and it's barrel proof. So down here, I'm guessing there's probably 30 of them they could pick from at least. Yeah. So we have no idea what's in here. We just know it's barrel strength. So I'm going to choose this time. I'm going to okay. choose, let's go from left to right. Oh. Okay. Now I'm switching it up a little bit. I'm switching it up. So let's see what we got in the first glass. That smells delicious. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. When I was prepping, I got a little water ready for us and mm -hmm. stuff here. When I walked up here, it smelled great without even smelling the glasses. Yeah. Almost smelled like a rickhouse up here, to be honest with you. That's such a good smell. All that barrel strength whiskey coming out of these Glen Cairns. I need to like age bourbon in my attic so that my whole house smells like a rick house it's so good yeah you're, you're darn right about that really fantastic nose holy crap i took a big old swig there i forgot it was cast strength about blew my pants right off mm. that's good though mm. I w this is the first time i'm writing notes down on an actual <laughs> piece of paper I'm not even going to read, be able to read my own handwriting. Well, I, I, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't even read what you're writing, but you're writing a number four. So are you referring to this as number four? I think it's taped on the bottom. Four. Well, then I guess we should call it number four. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get to that part, honey. So it is one, two, three, four. Is that how you line them up? Yes. My bad. Good job, Trenton. I'm one step ahead of the game, you know. <laughs> you are. You're sharp, dude. You are so, sharp. So I get like a uh, like a brown sugary caramel. Oh my god, it's syrupy. Uh, it's, it is viscous. It, I don't get like any vanillas though. No, but it boy it gets deep into that little bit of molasses too. And you're right, it's beautiful. It's nice. It's really, 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 really nice. Um, it seems a little soft, maybe. I'm wondering what the proof is. It's got to be like. Well, it's our first sip too, but boy. What are you thinking, 120? Oof, I'm thinking like 108. More than that. Oh, okay. Yeah. First sip for me. Okay, I'm what a, is... I'm always off on the first sip, though. Is is cast strength like a specific range, or is it just whatever they put it in at the barrel? Yeah, I believe it's whatever comes out of the barrel. Okay. So, you know, even some of our barrel picks that we've had, what we've learned recently is one was like, what, 114 proof, mm -hmm. and that's what it was right in the barrel. You want me to go peek? No. No. No, that's it's fine, babe. If, if whatever this is, I think it drinks well below its proof. Because I think it's like 108. It's delicious. It could be about. You could be right. But it is very good. I'll grant you that. So, you moving on? Whoa. Yep. Number three. Right, honey? I got it this time. Good job. Class. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Class number three. This little difference is a little lighter on the very nose. Very different. A little lighter on the nose. Maybe a little citrus on the nose. Drinks a lot hotter. 
Uh, hmm. It's like leathery kind of. It does have uh, it does have a little bit of caramel in there, but it does it does get you with a little bit of a leather, and it's pretty oaky. It's like a burnt oak, though. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, I, I wonder. I would mm -hmm. wonder what the like the the char is on the barrel because yeah. that comes through pretty. Yeah, it is pretty oaky. I'll yeah. grant you that. And it's a little bit of char, maybe even like of a toasted situation there, possibly. And you're right. I like that though. It's just it's very different mm -hmm. from four, but I do like it. Right. Those drink a little hotter, that's for sure. All right, moving on to number uh, two. Yeah, number two. This is like giving me number four vibes, but like a, a fruity note. Like a strawberry. Oh, I love it. He's right about that, honey. Yes. Good job, pal. That's light. It's grainy. I keep it in my mouth quite a bit there. I gotta, I gotta check it out. I mm. chuckle because you're always ripping off your stuff like immediately, which is fun. It's good, but it is. It doesn't really delve deeply into the caramels and and toffees, molasses, brown sugar. I think it has a hint of brown sugar. I think. Uh, I think it's good on you, Trent, a little bit. And that fruity tone that's on the nose does not come through to the mm -hmm. palate for me. It's kind of bummer a little bit. But I'm checking the nose again, and I get a little bit of that strawberry on the nose. I get like a little like a sugary sweetness, and like, I don't, I'm not getting much else in terms of like a, a flavor profile. Mm -hmm. Kind of almost like a marshmallow type thing there. A little light, a little <clears throat> graham cracker. Which, which would lend to your grainy, what you would yeah. say. So that's kind of be my opinion a little bit there. I gotta take a little sip of water, but barrel proof stuff's pretty stout. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number one. Ooh, that news. Numero uno. That new, news? Yeah. <laughs> that news? The cast strength's hitting already. That nose is really good. It is. I know you're going to think I'm nuts here, but... I'm thinking of something. I'm curious to see what. Well, it's kind of almost like a Honey Nut Cheerio. A little bit. Huh. Go ahead. What are you thinking? <laughs> well, at first I was going to say it, it smells like uh, like lake water. But... I could see... Okay. <laughs> I could see a little, like, a little honey action going on. Lake water. Honey flavored lake water. Now, yeah. he does have experience with that because his grandmother lives on a lake in New York, a beautiful lake. We were there once. Hence your tattoo. Yep. Yeah. Tattoo. What is that? Cuca Lake, it's called in New York. So he goes there every once in a while, a few times a year, and so spends a lot of time in the water. So, hey man, if you say it's lake water, I'm going to stick with mine. Honey Nut Cheerios. I get, a, I get like a, a very small amount of honey on the nose, but I don't think it. Yeah, it does transfer a little bit to the palate, but not as much, not mm -hmm. as much as I was hoping it would. Like it's kind of bitter, a little like mm -hmm. a stringent kind of. Yeah, I don't know if I'd say bitter, but yeah, I, I get where you're coming from. It's it's strange. It's like a oak tannin something. It's a little bit different. Yeah, it's a little bit different for sure. Hmm. I gotta take one more sip of that. I'm struggling for tasty notes on this one. I kind of like it though. Do you? A little bit. I get kind of a a pancake syrup note, but not in a not. It's in a thin way. I'm not saying it in a viscosity way. It's just a little bit of a flavor note for me. Yeah, I can't. I, I can get like pancake. I get like a light sweetness, but that's that's kind of it. It's a little bit light on the palate. Mm -hmm. It is the light sweetness, like a pancake. A little bit of a Definitely not maple syrup, but more of a more of a pancake. Pancakes and syrup, honey, in a lighter <clears> fashion. <throat> That's kind of what I get out of that one, pal. So here's the key. We went through it once. Are you able to eliminate one? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you this. Two and three were probably my least favorites. I'd have to revisit just a touch. What is your least favorites? Uh, my least favorites. Favorites are um, one and two. Mm -hmm. I knew you said one. 
I apologize. I should have said that. I should. I should have done that. I apologize for speaking with bourbon in my mouth. But for a for a cast strength, this doesn't have as much flavor as I would hope that it would have compared to the rest of the okay. three. This one has more flavor than one, but I don't mm -hmm. like the flavor. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think yeah. two would be fourth place. Okay. Well, I said two and three, so I think we can come to an agreement then that two can be pushed forward first. Are we pushing them forward or pulling back? Them back? That's fine. You do whatever you want. It doesn't bother me one way or another. So, since two was in both of our lists, mm -hmm. that would be first to come back. So, honey, two would be at last place, unfortunately, this evening. And all these are pretty good in their own regards. We're being pretty picky, to be honest with you. Um, I don't, Trenton, so we're, we're I'm going to retaste one and three. Okay. Because you and I are a little three. bit of a difference here between that. I'll be putting my own foot in my mouth here, but three really kind of, to me, seems like a, a Jim Beam, like a Knob Creek or something. That's possible. Because I have written down that, like, leather, tobacco, list. notes. That's part of the list. Yeah, and, and it, uh, it is. There, there is some uh, notes of that, of that uh, factor going into this, for sure. I, I find it to be a bit oaky. Let me taste number one again. And I usually don't like... I shouldn't say that. I do love Dom Creek, and, and I do love Jim Beam, but sometimes it's a little bit over over the top for me, but I would I would pick that. I would pick three over one. You would? I would. Okay. All right, honey. I personally would pick one over three. So let's leave them all up here for now. So we disagree on that, and that's okay. <clears throat> We're not going to be the same in every one. We're just not. Yeah, I know. It's not going to happen. Your palate and my palate are so different. Yeah, a lot, of, quite a bit, and 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 so we'll leave them right where they are. I'm gonna I'm gonna taste number four again because number four blew me away, and it was absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. After going through the four to me, this was just phenomenal. That's so good. I really want to know what number one is. I'm dying. I mean, it, again, we get into the the brown sugar, molasses, caramel. Beautiful. Somewhat creamy. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say top level no. creamy, but not thin at all. A little bit viscous. Very nice. It's a beautiful whiskey. Yeah. I mean, for me, Trenton. With this list, we have. We're not. We're embarrassing ourselves. Hopefully not. But for what we have on the bar top tonight, number one is head and shoulders. You mean four? Yeah. Four, yeah. That too. Four would be number one. Yeah. You know, but yes, I'm sorry, babe. I keep I keep saying one because that's the first one we started with. Um, number four to me, Trenton, I mean, is that your is that yeah. your yeah. thought process as well? Yeah. So what we know for sure, honey, is number two is last place. Number four is our definitive first place. So at this point, let's see what's in last place. So that would be number two. Okay. She has <laughs> she has the bottles behind the camera. She's always afraid we're going to cheat, Trenton. Are you, yeah. Were you a cheater when you were young? I don't remember being a cheater. She has them in a box covered with a blanket on top of it so we won't look. <laughs> so anyways, back. number uh, last place, honey, number two would be? I'm going to pull these back so I have room for that. Sure, sure. What is this? That's last place. That is last place. Well, well, this is interesting. Did you just get that today? I just got that today, and I told her you can add it to the list if you wanted to. Okay. Huh. I never heard of that. This is this is something I was dying to get on a regular release because I've heard a lot about it. But uh -huh. I, but it Benny's today. Your mom and I went to the White Sox game today. Although I'm a Cubs fan, but we got free tickets. So we went to the White Sox, and then we scooted over to Benny's right afterwards because uh -huh. it was pretty close. But this is their store pick of copper and cask. I really want to try to get their, their regular release, okay? But uh, this one here, I don't know nothing about it. I swear to you, we bought it today. 
So I haven't even had it either. Okay. Oh, all right. So it is, uh, what would that be? 119.6 proof of Benny store pick of copper and cask. So your mom tried to, she tried to throw us a little boomerang there, buddy. Oh, I've never had that one. No. I have, honestly, I haven't either, pal. So that is that is extremely interesting. All right, moving on from there, Trenton. What was your third place? Number three. All right, and it might be number two. Go ahead and, go ahead and give him number three, honey. Number so, three? Mm -hmm, this would be Trenton's. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Third place for me was number one. No, no. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, give him number one then. This will be my second place and Trenton's third place. Oh, holy cow. Well, you're really getting to us, honey. Maker's Mark 46 cast strength. Interesting. It's good stuff. I haven't had this in a while. I haven't had it in what a while. What did I put down for that leather tobacco? Oh, no. I've had the Maker's Mark. You know the cast strength maker's mark? Yeah. A lot more than I've had the 46 cast strength. So it's kind of that, a shock because I like I like that. That was my second place. Okay. And that was your third place. Okay. Alright, so then go ahead. What was your second place? My second place was number three. Which would have been my third place. Come on, Knob Creek. <laughs> you never know. Oh. Get out of here. Wow. wow. That that was in our last year's uh yes good job on you pal this is booker's oh that is jim beam it is jim beam this is the booker's yeah. this is bardstown's batch last year's third release of 2021 that was the best release last year and that was the best one and actually ended up to be one of our bourbons of the year yeah good on you pal i guess i i screwed up there i well Nice. They're all good. I put this in third, this in second, and you were vice versa. Vice yeah. versa. This is a great bottle. All right. Really, really nice bottle. I'm proud of myself for picking up that Jim Beam, though. You did. I gotta say. Good job on yeah. that there, pal. Good job for you. All right, and our overall winner. I mean, uh, this, and honestly, Trenton. I mean, is this is even an argument? This is kind of a no-brainer. I'm gonna try and guess to me. what this is. To I me, I was gonna say, do you want to guess? It's so sweet. I wanted to say Buffalo Trace, but I, I don't think it, it. I don't think it's Buffalo Trace. I almost want to say Weller Foolproof, because it's just that good. But I don't know if that's true or not either. It's so good. It's reminiscent of our shows on Buffalo Trace when we tasted the Weller Foolproof, but I don't know. Yeah, it could be completely. I have wrong. no idea. You don't want to guess? <laughs> hey, I put myself out there. I'm trying to think of stuff that reminds me of this that isn't Buffalo Trace. I'm having a hard time. Uh, <laughs> nah, I don't know. Yeah. What do you got, honey? Holy <laughs> smokes! Take it. Wow, she is really throwing us for a loop. This is Angel's Envy, Trenton. This is <laughs> this is the 2019 release. Cast Strength, this is their Cast Strength release. I haven't bought one of these in a while, as you could tell. Angel's Envy, Cast Strength. I don't even, it's been so long since I've had this. I'm impressed. W what's the, uh, is that the, see? So 61.2 proof. Okay, getting read with my glasses. Right? Or no, please. ABV, 61.2 yeah. yeah. ABV. So 122.4 proof. Well, I guessed 108. That drinks well below its proof. And the sweetness come from that port wine. That's impressive. That That is something else. Finished in port wine barrels. We don't talk about Angel's I, Envy much on I, the... And this is their, you know, this is their, you know, their yearly big time release that I bought in 2019 with the fancy box and everything. Remember yeah, that? Yeah. That is shocking, honey. I have to tell you. Kudos to you for this lineup because this is... I'd have never guessed that. <laughs> I never guessed it, and honestly, I have to say, to me, it was head and shoulders uh, yeah. better than what that we had on the bar top. Yeah. And uh, boy, you really threw us for a loop today. Good job on your part. Yeah, wow. I knew what I was doing. Look at all this <laughs> variety that she put up on here. She did. She didn't give us any chalk today, no. buddy. This is this was tough stuff. So, before we were you just about done. Yes, sir. Before we close it out, we have a live stream coming up this Friday. 
wild turkey blind. It's not going to be in the basement. You got to tune in to figure out where we're actually at. And yeah. then, um, who? What else was I going to say? You can always cut right here. We're going to cut. And we're back. All right. So <laughs> that took about five minutes. So we got the live stream coming up. We're from here on. I don't know if we're going to be doing this next year, but we have a ton of content that we're going to try and get out by the end of the year. So we're going to start doing three videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, and we have a pretty cool video coming out on Wednesday. And this is one I know nothing about. I so think don't, this is so don't miss it. I think this is revenge for the pie video. Yes. <laughs> oh, Indeed. No. Yeah. So I, I don't even know. I even think. Uh, we might have some friends down here for that video. Yes, from what we I'm will. Hearing. Yeah. So, oh, so boy. don't miss it. That's all I got. All right, buddy. Thanks everybody for watching. Boy, we appreciate each and every one of you. Like I said before, honestly, we do. Uh, honey, what a fantastic job on this lineup. Well, you stumped me on some on several of these, to be quite honest with you. But I had a great time. I hope you enjoyed being yeah. back behind the bar for that this was, one. That was cool. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. Hey, we'll see you next time. Right down here with Trent and me in a good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.